Christmas spirit still rings true at the growing memorial for two murdered New York City police officers. It is an emotional scene filled with touching tribute. CBS 2 Sonia Rincon joins us live from the memorial in Bedford-Stuyvesant. Sonia. Andrea, this is a place people are coming by to pray for peace on this Christmas Day and also to think about the families of officers Lou and Ramos who can't celebrate the holiday together. The memorial keeps growing. It was like two or three candles, and now look at it. So many people are coming by to look at it, say a prayer, or leave a tribute for the officers murdered here five days ago. Yvette Del Valle has family members who are auxiliary police and made it a point to stop by on this Christmas Day while she's visiting family. You have to see more of your family because you never know. So many of the visitors here are off-duty policemen and women, bringing their loved ones and thinking of those close to officers Lou and Ramos. You have families right now that's in, uh, that's in deepest sorrow right now because of the loss of you know their loved ones. And while everyone else is celebrating, they're planning a funeral. In a Christmas message to the policemen and women working today, Commissioner Bill Bratton said when your shift has ended, be sure to take the time to hold your loved ones close. He told officers to remember their duty to protect the humblest among us on this holiday. In the face of sorrows, be of good cheer. In the face of danger, be resolute. And as ever, be safe. He urged them to continue to follow the department's safety directive requiring them to stay in pairs. At the nearby 81st and 79th precinct station houses, security is very tight. Both have been the subjects of threats. Right now you can see a group of clergy members gathering here at the memorial. They'll be laying a wreath here shortly to add to the collection of this tremendous display of support. Live in Bedsty, Sonia Rincon, CBS 2 News.